Hello, everyone, and welcome to Tabor Talk. It's Monday, May 3rd, kind of a so-so day, but okay, getting right into this. People often ask me, where do you get your information? <coughs> what podcasts do you listen to? Um, you know, YouTube stuff, books you read, papers, publications, magazines, whatever. <coughs> so I'm going to talk about it a, a little bit right now. I actually jotted down... These are my podcasts, and these are kind of the YouTube channels that I visit uh, regularly and perhaps daily, you know. So when I was younger, a young man going to college, I read the New York Times <coughs> and the Wall Street Journal every day. And I would even look into the tabloids. I live in New York, born born in New Jersey, basically grew up in New York. Um and I, I'm a big sports guy, <coughs> mostly baseball and football um, growing up. So I always read the, the Daily News and the Post for sports. But every, I made sure that I read the New York Times and, um, and the Wall Street Journal. And someone, one of my professors once said, listen, read. This is back in the 80s, by the way. If you read the New York Times and the Wall Street Journal every day for five years, you'll have the greatest education in the world. Like no one, you'll know exactly what's going on in the world. No one could really fuck with you, you know, intellectually overwhelm you with information. You'll have a general understanding of how the world works. Okay, so obviously different times. I don't bu read any papers now. Kind of online, <coughs> you know, the, the New York Times and the Wall Street Journal, but I don't subscribe to it. I really get my information from... Well, as you know, people don't follow me. I read. I'm a voracious reader. I read a lot of books. I'm not going to talk about the books I read here. I'm basically the podcast and YouTube channels. But so there's that. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't really watch cable news, although I used to. Not anymore. I don't really do so much. I get my information from podcasts. And I've listed 12 here. And I'm going to go through them and talk about them for just a few seconds. Okay. Number one podcast, of course, of course, excuse me, Joe Rogan, J-R-E. I've been listening to Joe since 2009. I listen to every single podcast, every minute of every podcast. In fact, I haven't missed a minute in five or six years, right? Uh, that's my big thing. Uh, Joe Rogan, last week he did five full podcasts, four regular and an MMA. And I, I love MMA now. So talk about sports. I'm a... UFC, I wouldn't say fanatic, but, um, you know, I'm a trained martial artist. I follow UFC. I've been there since the beginning. Love it. That's how I found out about Joe, UFC. So, mixed martial arts. Okay, number one, Joe Rogan. Uh, not in any particular order, too. Number two is Lex Friedman. I actually found out about Lex from Joe. A lot of this stuff comes from Joe. You know, Joe has him as guests, he referrals, whatever. Lex Friedman's fantastic. Now, here's not a podcast, but there's a collection. I'm going to put all these channels in the embed it in the comment section here or where it says description. I'll put all these channels there if anyone's interested. And I'll put the links there. But Manufacturing Intellect is not a uh, podcast, but it's a collection of all of this great stuff, like like stuff throughout the like literally historical stuff. Like I just watched a two hour documentary on Ray ba Bradbury. That was like 1962. Like it's just fantastic. Check it out. Manufactured intellect. Sam Harris. I don't really listen to Sam as much. For years, I loved him. I was really high on him. I read all his books, listen, regularly listen to the podcast, but you know, he started charging and listen, it's not like a couple of dollars, $14.99 a month. Are you fucking kidding me? And he only does like two podcasts a month. I'm like, what are you talking about, Sam? And nobody charges for podcasts. Very few. So I wrote him a letter. I go, what are you doing? He said, you could, you know, you if you write in, you could get it for free. So he's good enough for that. But I, I don't know. I like Sam, but I really, last six months, a year, since he started charging, I really don't. But he's on my list anyway. He's very good anyway. Sean Carroll. Listen to all, I've listened to every single, although I haven't listened to the last uh, a couple of episodes. He's got about 140. He's been around for two or three years. Sean Carroll, theoretical physicist. I've read his books. He's fucking, he's super intelligent, really articulate. In fact, when he does his podcast, especially when he does his solo stuff, sounds like he's reading a script. He's so smooth. 
Not that he's stiff, he's so natural. But for two hours, he could talk without pause on the most complex, nuanced, intellectual stuff without a hitch. He is something else, Sean Carroll. Just short description here. I'm not going to get into depth. I'll do more videos on each of these podcasts someday in the future. Okay. Uh, so very bad wizards. Not a very, not a lot of people don't know about him, but that's Tamler Summers. He's a philosopher in Houston, Texas. And uh, uh, what's his name? David Pizarro, who, who teaches here in Cornell. He's a psychologist. It's a very nice mix. It's kind of a, they add humor to it, but they're great. They cover films, books, and just all these uh, scholarly papers and they do it with humor fantastic now these are some of this these are not podcasts but some of the old timers the goats the uh the ogs you know when i used to listen to growing up charlie rose are you kidding me i, I was a big charlie rose fan he's gone he disappeared and he's an old man now he's not doing anything he got in trouble with me too i think in 2017 larry king r.i.p was always watched larry king with my wife religiously loved the show uh, number nine, what the fuck with Mark Marin? I think it's interesting. He's got a, a unique take. He's a comedian, but man, does he get guests? I'm like, how does he get these guests? Because he's not like this super intellectual guy. He's kind of a goofball. But he had Barack Obama on his uh, on his podcast a couple of years ago. He had, you know, like uh, Brad Pitt and Leonardo DiCaprio, all these big A list guys. All right. Um, Tim Ferriss. In fact, I'm, uh, I'm going to be listening to a Tim Ferriss podcast now. He is just terrific. Don't forget him. You talk about a smart guy and articulate. He's been around since 2014. Okay, here's something I grew up, the radio show. Leonard Lopate with WNYC. Leonard's up in age now. He must be almost 80 years old, 78. I listened to him throughout my 20s and 30s religiously. WNYC with Leonard Lopate. He also got in trouble with me, too. So, um, I don't listen to him a lot, but he does have a excuse me. He does have a podcast called Leonard Lopate. I think he's with WBAI. Okay, now just recently I've been listening to Jordan Peterson. Jordan Peterson, obviously, we know is one of the most important intellectuals today. Um, he basically would YouTube his um, lectures. And now he's got a podcast since he's come, he's come back from his illness. He had an addiction with Xanax, a lot of problems. I'm not going to get into it now. Jordan's back. He's one of the best. And by the way, in terms of sub subscribers, only Joe Rogan has more. Joe Rogan's not on YouTube anymore, but when he left, he was over 10 million subscribers. Nobody ever came near that. And Jordan Peterson has three and a half million. Like nobody's close to that. So it's Joe Rogan, Jordan Peterson. And he's way ahead of everyone else that I just mentioned. Okay, and I listen to Lawrence Krauss, too. He's a he's an astrophysicist, theoretical physicist. He's good, too. All right, and these are the sort of, for politics, the daily YouTube stuff I listen to. I'm just going to read them out. Ring of Fire with, uh, what's his name? What's for Callan? Fallon? What's his name? Cousins? Something Cousins. He's got a weird name. Farron Cousins. Bold guy. Really nice guy. Intelligent. Fun. David Pakman, uh, uh, The Young Turks with Jenk Unker and Anna Kasparian, uh, Kyle Kalinske, Secular Talk, and then the Brian Tyler Cohen Show. I listened to this a, a lot more when Trump was president. Again, I haven't been into politics, uh, paying attention that much to politics. All right, nice and short. I really didn't get into any, into any detail. I just wanted to let people know. That's where I get my shit. All right, good friends, good books, and a sleepy conscience. Peace, love, and understanding here in Tabor Talk. Mm -hmm.